Hello everyone, welcome to EKDA platform and this is Ramin Jangit here, your electrical faculty. And in this video, I'm going to talk about the planning of HVDC transmission system. How we have uh, started to use the HVDC transmission and what are the important parameters which are related for uh, this planning HVDC transmission. <music> Now, now I'm talking about the voltage level, voltage level. If I'm talking about the voltage level, then in this, uh, in this topic, I'm going to discuss according to the variation of the voltage level. So what will be the impact on the costing or overall costing? So then I will talk about the total costing. And do you know what is the total costing? Total costing actually depending on the two factors. The first factor is actually the costing due to costing due to your investment and which is actually represented by C1. And another is the costing due to operation. And you can say the losses. And which is actually represented by the C2. So we are going to discuss about the C1 and C2 and then you will get the total costing as C. Now one by one I am going to attack them as C1. So we have written the C1 is the costing due to investment. Okay if I am writing the formula for this the costing due to the investment then c1 is actually c1 is actually the a0 plus a1 nv plus a2 nq okay so what are the where i can write the where okay it is better to write where then this a0 a1 and a2 are actually the constants or actually the constants let us see for next of them n n is called the total number of conductors total number of conductors and the next is uh, your v that is the voltage level voltage level with respect to ground ground okay and the third uh, and the last one is your uh, which one is left q that is the q is actually area of cross section area of cross section okay so uh, these are the descriptions of this formula you have to remember one thing you have to remember this one um, that is actually the most important and then we will talk about the uh, the point number second that is the costing due to the c2 now i am talking about the c2 it is actually the costing due to the losses or costing due to the operation costing due to the losses or you can say the operation if i am talking about the costing due to the operation or the losses then the formula for the c2 is going to be n into n into p upon nv whole square rho tlp upon q so some of the variables you know actually you know that is what is the n what is the v what is the p p is actually the power level okay and uh, rho is resistivity so uh, one thing i am writing them the p is your actually power level uh, next is your q i have already told rho rho is actually the resistivity of the conductor resistivity of the conductor conductor what is the t t is actually the time duration in years time duration in years uh, t is uh, done p done rho already done L. L is loss load factor, loss load factor. Okay, guys. 
then you have to remember about these uh, terms okay but don't be confused with l l is not the length l is actually the loss load factor okay so p rho t and l okay now after simplification you will get the c2 as p square p square and then n square will be cancelled and you will get n b square q rho and tlp and instead of tlp i am writing a3 and after the furthest uh, simplification i will directly write the total costing and the total costing is actually going to be c1 plus c2 c1 plus c2 and which is actually a0 plus a1 nb plus 2 root uh, you can write uh, the a2 a3 rho yeah the p upon b so from this formula you can easily easily uh, conclude that with the variation of the voltage with the variation of the voltage there is uh, there is a costing there is change to be a costing also so for the costing uh, you have to change the accordingly the very uh, voltage value so for the power system transmission for the power system transmission if uh, if you required to uh, decrease the value of costing for the transmission and distribution then you have to accordingly vary the voltage level and that voltage level uh, that voltage level may be due to in uh, maybe in the line or in the converter type so that i am going to show you with the one diagram so look at this diagram okay so now so look at this diagram okay now i am going to discuss about the some of the points here okay uh, so this is the line costing this axis and below this is, it is actually the converter costing this is the costing due to the line so whatever the transmission line that costing is due to the line this will represent the costing due to the converters and for that it is a graph so i can write i can write the converter cost converter cost and this i can write the costing due to the line line cost this is the curve for the line cost this is actually the minimum or your minimum level or minimum separation level i can write the minimum minimum separation between between two curves two curves and which causes and actually which causes minimum costing of operation okay and this curve is actually representing line cost okay let us uh, see here this type of curve with this okay like a uh, okay like a u shape and this one is here that is representing the converter cost so at this point it is actually at this point it is actually the optimum 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 level this is going to be optimum level this is the optimum converter voltage this is optimum i can write the line voltage line voltage okay so this thing uh, you have to remember okay and this is the basic fundamental diagram if i am talking about the back to back voltage back to back connection for hvdc for hvdc then one thing you have to remember one thing you have to remember back to back connection for hvdc then one thing you have to remember that the costing due to line is absent costing due to line line is absent so it means we will talk about the costing due to converter only converter only i hope uh, you have uh, understood up to this point so uh, we will discuss the next topic in the next lecture so tata bye bye